Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing my Assassin's Creed journey. Here in Assassin's Creed 2 featuring Glitchy Floor. Uh, <laughs> you can remaster the game, but uh, sometimes the ground will protest. Alrighty then. Sure, world. Sure, barrel. At least the barrel isn't <laughs> going rogue. Uh, but yes, we are going to continue my Assassin's Creed journey. The stream was a, loud, a tad delayed because... Eh, yard work and stuff. Got to help the family. But today we are going to a new place. What even is this new place? Forley! I didn't know its name. Forley. We're going... We were just going through the mountains with Leonardo when the assholes came and tried to annihilate the world. They ran me off the road. They destroyed my beloved cart. That's kind of annoying. We're gonna put a handhold there, but you can't reach it. Uh, I can't wait for future Assassin's Creed games to actually uh, allow a little leap jump as a movement thing. That will be nice. It will be rather nice. The sudden cut to black had me scared for a moment. Hmm. There was, there was something I could have sworn that I meant to do back at like the villa or something, and my brain was like, "Aha, we'll use the fast travel station," but I can't for the life of me remember what it was now. Well, there's a codex. Yay! We're obviously going to. How many? This is Forley. Why does it have so many? Diddly Don Towers! Uh, we'll do the towers first. Maybe do any kind of side thing that pops up from time to time while doing the towers. You know, grab codexes. Huh, I won't be able to decode any codexes until we get to Venice. I assume. Because then Leonardo will have his workshop set up. Because I, like, I'm sure that we'll meet... Leonardo a bit more through here just because we were with together and then ran off the road by jerk Templar <laughs> Game how do I climb the tower? I just want to climb it like change Look at that sun. May it blind you and fill you with light and eat your soul. I do like the little, not jingle, it feels more like a, a drone that plays when you synchronize with towers. It just feels nice. Then I guess we'll grab the, grab the codex. Sink the tower. Prob... And then we'll sink in a kind of zigzag. And I think we'll just... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. The placement of the towers is odd. How many towers are going to be in Venice? Are half the towers going to be in Venice? That would be a big Venice. But I don't know. It's been five billion years since I played this game. I just know that Venice is neat. It has gondolas. Out of the way, man. I'm the one who rules these. Would this be considered a marsh? I don't know. But we have so many things to find. An assassin's... If it isn't the pickpocket! He didn't even give me much money. No respect? He's a... He's a, a dude. He's a jerk. 
Have some money. Leave me alone. I know I took away a bunch of your patrons, but hear me out. I'm here to buy a lot of shit from you. Okay, understandable. That is a very famous picture, but Jesus Christ. 69.69. Nice. Why is that one so cheap? I like this. Hilarious. This one. All of your money. This one. Nice. The other ones. Cheap as shit. Hilarious. Man, 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 money. Hug tech. Is that the courtesans taunting me? And goodbye. My first bit step into Forley, and I've already killed four guards. But they deserved it. It's like the moment that I killed the guards, the herald telepathically knew I must herald the people about this horror. So yeah, we'll do this. See what there is. Do the assassin's tomb. Maybe like quickly go back to the villa to restock on money. Buy the last bits of the portraits and stuff. And just, yeah, I play things by ear. But yeah, I just can't wait to play more Assassin's Creed. It's like I play one and then I'm like, I wonder what the next one's going to be like. Hmm, I should probably have not done that. Just feel how the games change. I saw, like, the glare of, I guess, the mountains or something. Like, there is a bit of, like, white through the trees. And I was like, is that a feather? It's like, no, it's just the distance. Out there in the distance. It's the distance. I wonder who, like, who is even having the codex page. And why they would leave their door open. And then be like, okay, I want four guards to guard my open door. It seems rather stupid. Any other codex pages? What's that there? An assassination thing? Assassination contract and courier. We'll grab the other codex, roundabout assassin tomb, head back to villa. That's a tailor. Whee! I wonder what, like, caused them to be like, we need to set a section of Assassin's Creed in Forley. Because I've never heard of Forley before. Some glyphs are going to be here, aren't they? Oh, yeah, that's what I was remembering. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the building. I'm going to have to go back to uh, Tuscany because the Roman theater... Ruins had a glyph, and I didn't get the glyph because every single time we went there, we were doing things. Yes, 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 there is a courier challenge here. How dare you shove me? Oh, yeah, because I was about to smack him with the sword. I meant to do that. You're a dead man. All your friends are dead. Your dead friend... Uh, your dead friend was my ultimate bodyguard, and then he flipped a dip... I wanted to go in, grab a deal, but here we are! I guess I could just do this and get hit a bunch. Or we can just kill the easiest guy. He would have died to a sword anyway. Darn it. Darn it. I feel like that first one should have worked, but what do I know? I'm not a video game. Die. I just want you to go very fast. 
Is it because it's a hammer? The timing is very odd. Is it me, or is it them? I do not know. The game is a dick. Sometimes it feels like I got the timing perfectly, and then the... Like, seriously, sometimes it just feels like I do the timing, and the timing says, eh, I don't understand it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the game's right. Maybe I'm Satan. Maybe the game is Satan. It could be anything. But now we have two codex pages. And now we shall head back to the Assassin Tomb and apparently... Alright, big church with tower. Is that... Ah, it's this. Alright, time to look for a glyph here. And after looking for a glyph here, we'll head back to the villa, get money, head to Tuscany, get glyph. Would be hilarious if the glyph was in the treasure chest. No one would ever find it. Least of all me. There's a feather up there too. It's hard to tell sometimes, because sometimes Subject 16 was mean and was like, I'm gonna put the glyph in a place. And that place is a... That's actually a really nice place. Thank you, Subject 16. And now we activate it. Let's see if it's hurt. To stop the cycle. Let's see to if it is hurt. Secret. Oh, shit. I gotta keep thinking. Ruin the headaches. Headaches are horrible. I hate them. I I feel you there, subject. The inventor. Nikola Tesla. The economic transmission of power without wires is all of suppressing importance to man. But, but by its means, he will gain complete mastery of the air, the sea, and the desert. It will enable him to dispense of the necessity of mining, pumping, transporting, and burning fuel, and so do away with innumerable causes of sinful waste. It will make the living glorious sun his obedient, toiling slave. It will bring peace and harmony on earth. And if there's even a bit of truth to that, because I... Because didn't Tesla want to do something like that? set up a big power generator of like solar panels in a desert somewhere and transport it all across the earth through the waves of the air or something if that is even remotely true i would not be surprised if capitalists nuked him okay that, that, that was an interesting, an interesting bit. Yep. Misunderstandings are always caused by the inability to appreciate one another's point of view. The best way to dispel ignorance of doings of others is by systematic spread of knowledge. With this object in view, it is most important to aid exchange of thought and intercourse. Nikola Tesla. Just quotes. Quotes, quotes, quotes. Yeah, I just want to make, like, triply sure. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Ah, I'm looking for this. You found it in Croatia. There's a lot of hidden things. You found, found it in the Croatia. You said they that already. Very interesting. The puzzles are just going in odd ways now. They're jumping all over the place. Alright, now we need to head back to Assassin Tomb. Assassin Tombing. Well, we're here. Let's do it. Let's climb a tower. I hit that button again because my brain was like, Ah, yes! The, for all intents and purpose, select button. That is totally... The map button in this game. My brain is trying to kill me. Silence, crier. Go cry to the choir. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm funny. Please clap. 
but we must climb this tower. But I do kind of enjoy the glyphs. They're interesting little things. I do think that they're kind of odd at times, but not terrible. Is this another one where actually... Well, they do have a clear handhold thing all the way to the top, so I just assume that they want me to go up here. There we go. For a moment, it just had eagle vision. I'm like, did it not want me to come up here? But then where is the branch? And now the question is, which way do I fucking jump? Uh, which way do I... That's, I wanted eagle vision. And there's no way to stop it once it goes. Eagle vision decides for you your fate. Uh, but yeah, where do I jump? I can't see any, like, bales of hay. I can't get down without my bales of hay. Oh, I think it's over there. Would have been hilarious if I just jumped to my death. But I'm too smart. And by smart, I mean lucky. But yeah, now we will go do the Assassin Tomb, head back to the villa, collect money, get anything that might have changed since we were last at the villa, just in case. And that's even if we can do this one. Uh, for a moment, it's just like, not another glyph! And it's like, no. <laughs> Nobody in all the years of living in Forley ever discovered this. Oh, I wonder what's this thing on this little pier on the wall. Nobody ever questioned it. Maybe there's an assassin guardian of the tomb that just watched. It was just like, nobody goes there. Nobody ever shall. If they do, I stab them. Lots of people died in those waters. Lots of people died for no reason. Or maybe they all did go in and then just died. Like, maybe there's a giant octopus in here. There's water. Yes, yes. Glitch, glitch. Infiltrate Rocca di Rivaldino and find the assassin seal hidden within. But it's also extra funny because just out of curiosity, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there are any, re like, reactions to Assassin's Creed, uh, like, trailers. Because the trailers are always pretty nice. And one person actually did react to it, who had minimal knowledge of Assassin's Creed, to the point that they didn't know that Assassin's Creed is all about going into assassin memories. Genetic memory. Because they were, like, watching the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Like, trailer. And they were like, what is with the glitches up there? Like, computer glitches in the sky. That was odd. It's just like, oh my god, there are people that still don't know. It's like the entire shtick of Assassin's Creed. Memory. Ah, we dive under. The first time we've made use of that. Then again, there haven't been that many opportunities for swimming. Just like in America. Okay. Frickin' Resident Evil 4 <laughs> camera angle of the game. Why have camera angles that you're like, we're gonna mess with the controls? Why? Person who's like, we need to make camera angles that fuck with controls needs to be drug out into the street and shot. <laughs> game, I jumped and I reeked. Fuck off. This is, again, don't take control of the camera away. It just keeps proving my goddamn point. For a moment, show, hey, this is where you go. And then let people have the control back. Game. You'll dip a shot. Because like every single time it does it, it's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to absolutely screw with me. And I hate it. So much. <laughs> He bumped that lantern. What a jackass. 
Goodbye, friend. Why? The guards are way too smart in this. It's very stupid. It's not conducive at all to an assassin game. They can see everything. They're way too smart. Another person that needs to be drug out into the street and shot. Oh, come on, you can totally. I know. Haha. <laughs> well, that kind of worked. And now you move. That guard just did the shittiest loop de loop. You have the weirdest patrol paths. You all die now. All of you die. No mercy. I know. We'll do it this way. And then he'll see me. That you! Get it! Renato! We're losing him! Why are the guards so good at, like, ooh, person? A like, game. Be like every other stealth game and have some leeway for fun. Ah, you're just bad at stuff, or maybe the game's an asshole. There is that possibility. And there do comes time when game needs to just be fun. Ah, bars. Interesting decision to put bars there. It's almost like they were expecting an assassin. Yeah, there needs to actually be possibility to play a game. So it's basically showing me. So, ah, now I must do the shitty loop-de-loop. -loop. Time for the loop-de-loop -loop of hell! I'd like to act oh. I had to wait out the other one's timer to then activate this one. Toda, now I am the jerk smacking the lantern. There we go. So like moments like this I don't mind the camera taking, but when it actually demands that you jump, that is when I get annoyed, because the camera directly influences the jump. So if you take away control of the jump, then everything's just ass. And I hate it. Luckily, none of the tombs are get through without being seen, because the, the game is just terrible when it comes to stealth in a an assassin game. Why would you want to uh, do the thing known as stealth when you can just... Oh, game wide, would you set the camera like that? I was like, why does this look familiar? It's because it was familiar. It wasn't new. But... Game, please. And why do all the people that I want to kill have immortality when it comes to knives for at least one knife? Just seems very rude. Just very rude. Just want to make sure there wasn't any, like, secrets up here. He'll come by again and I'll be able to stab him. Like, he'll actually be able to... He'll come by again. Come by. Have fun. Drag. 
Your friend didn't even recognize your death. I think I'll be able to stab him too. Maybe. I'm gonna be careful because I want to assassinate the big boy. Big bye to the big boy. Just want to make sure if he'll probably see the body and be like, "What happened here?" <laughs> that, he didn't even run over. We have a killer loose. We have a Anyone killer loose. He does not seem to care at all. We have a killer loose. Doesn't raise the alarm. Doesn't go. Oh God, my other friend is missing too. No. Just goes right back to patrol. So they're really good at seeing people. But really bad at actually being guards with... Game why? Oh, surely you want to jump into the nothingness and not the fucking right in front of you thing? You dipshit. You fucking what, mate? Fucking what? Agony. Let go of me. I'll activate this and it'll probably give me a camera. Game, why? Ah, that, well, I'll wait for it to re-go, because the game, again, took away control of my camera, which made me do bad things. It's almost like I have to wait for it to go all the way back, so I can activate it again. Just stop taking control of the camera away when I control my character. It is so fucking dumb. And I hate it, and everybody... Who's like, this is the way the game should be. You know, bad. There is no reason for the goddamn cameras to be taken away control wise. It's so fucking dumb. Utterly, completely, horrifically. Is that just like, hey, if you want to leave? But I need to grab this. Who is the dead body? Robin Hood, probably. It is a bow and arrow. I wonder what, like, exit point this will have. Four of six seals found. Kulangal. Prison escape. Ah, so the guards were doubly bad. They can see guards, but they can't... Ca the guards can see prisoners, but not catch them. Because they are bad at their job. And deserve pain and suffering. That's why they're all dead. And then that place will be called Cursed. And everything will be everything. And no per poor person ever thought, hmm, I'm gonna go into the sewers. Or, you know, just a crazy person. But, now we shall head to the fast travel station. The, the, the courier boy can survive for another day. I do not care. I have better money over at the villa. It may cost me a hundred. But I have like 20,000 there waiting for me. I still find it hilarious that the birth of Venus was so expensive. I was just like, oh, all the, like, and for the moment, for a moment there, I was insulted. It was like, why would a painting be that expensive? I look over, it's a bona fide super classic. Understandable. But we can head in, take the money, 
put in the feathers. Place the seal and or seals. Then I need to head to Tuscany to do the thing. Mm -mm -mm, money. Yeah, I don't have any codexes to add to the wall. Can't wait to do that puzzle. That'll be a fun puzzle. All right. Because... We know that we did you. Don't think I did any others yet. <laughs> oh, what? I do? My brain is bad at math today. Nope. And... Nope. Just wanted to double check because memory bad sometimes. You'd think somebody would find a way to trick the lock because it's just plates, but I don't know. Temp Templar assassin magic. This is a world where genetic memory exists, so what do I know? Have a few more feathers. And probably like one more feather. Yes, we know. Altair's armor lies behind a grate. The grate is fixed in place by six locks. We've all seen it. You can go away now, Tooltip. You are there for a very long time, and we are not even inside the villa mansion anymore, my dude. Go away, please. Tooltip person also needs to be fired. For eating away at my mind. Just triple checking to make sure we have everything. Do you have any pouches? I'll just keep it normal. I shall keep it normal. Because normal is nice. It's a nice color palette. It is interesting that they allow you to have, like, different colors. And now we have to go to Tuscany. Uh, to that gate, because it is near the Colosseum, and we need to... Grab the diddly D that's there. Hidden there. Look at my blinding sword. Within the void of light, it is very, very bright. Alright. And I'll... After we get this one, I will check the database. Lol. <laughs> Fine, we'll go back to the villa one more time and pick up that as well. So yeah, it exists in here somewhere. And I think we found it. Lol. It's magical evolution stones. Titans of industry, he decided not to say anything today. Alright. Edison Archive! Access denied. All right, where is the secret? Where's the decoder part? Hmm. A C E E E. I don't see anything that would point to it being one thing or another because it was constantly available last time ah four equals one it's actually on the parchment there to the left all right four equals one four equals one all right then nine would be six i was already on it four and then seven equals zero. Wrong code. 
Oh. Uh, six equals nine. So nine is actually on yours would be two. I misread that. Dear Mr. Morgan, a serious matter has come to my attention. Nikola Tesla plans to use PE4 to create an information network across the entire world. And if that weren't bad enough, he intends to allow it uh, access to it for free. Imagine the masses spreading knowledge amongst themselves instantaneously. That would make everything we intend to do much more difficult. You must cut all funds for his experiments at once. In case you get cold feet, I'll have you know he wants to make electricity free as well, thereby putting us out of business. I'm already beginning uh, begun slandering Tesla in the press. Just reallocate his funding and I'll take care of P for myself. LOL. Edison creative DC electricity. Oh. JP Morgan revokes funding of Tesla. <laughs> LOL, this, that's kind of on point. Edison proves danger of AC current by Electric King's Circus Elephant. Wow, they're actually gonna show it? Harsh. You want well, everyone to know the secret to set us all free. They used it to drive him insane. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ford Archive access denied. Well, things are just getting harder, isn't it? Uh, will it actually be there? Or where would it? Be? I have no freaking clue. Ah, uh, two dot dot. Two dot dot. Does that say two dot dot equal that? If so, then one equal. Two dot dot three equal three dot nine equal two. This that's what I thought. The international Jew. Well then I don't even know because it has to be something that the two dot dot, but in what context game? Is it that for World War Two? Because that's the closest thing that I can think. Because I am history ignorant most of the time. And then you'll become blank. Or is it smudged? No, you'll become... All right. I am very confused. Because some of these aren't even on that. So it goes two dot dot. It goes two, two dot, two dot dot, blank. I'm, I am very confused, dear Bobby. Because it has to be, it has to do with the two dot dot down there in the Dearborn Independent. But I don't see any obvious numbers to go along with it. Wait. No, that's things appearing in the background behind the document. I was like, is it a secret? No, it's the world being me. Um, because again, it has to do with two dot dot to a degree, doesn't it? Ford International Weekly. Wish there was a bit more of a hint that I could see. Because again, it has to do with the two dot dot, but what does it mean? Hmm. Let's try this again one more time. Two dot. Well, let's see. 
Well, again, it has a lot that can't be. Two dot dot, three then equals three dot, and nine would equal two. Wrong code. If we set it to be that, one now equals to that, three is blank, so it can't be this. So we shift it again. Where this would then become two dot dot, one becomes two, nine becomes one dot, wrong code. Can't be that because that makes one blank, unless it's like, ooh, what is the secret thing that I don't know? So, one dot, you become two, you become double dot, wrong code. Can't be that, that makes three blank. All right, you, I'm gonna brute force this because I don't know the secret. I don't know how to read clues. So yeah, three becomes one da da, you become three dot, wrong code. You become one dot, you become one, you become If that's even possible to attain. There. Wrong code. Can't be. Well, that was also impossible because that. Am I. Mis I think. Was I reading. I think I was reading it wrong. Because I think for there I was reading it wrong because I thought zero was nine for some reason because my brain is baking. Ooh, it has advice! Well, I don't want your advice anymore. All right. You have hurt my soul and made a bad puzzle that did not have all the answers here, at least for one as dumb as me. So obviously that must mean that it is a bad puzzle. So I shall not take your advice. I shall brute force the code. Can't be that because it blanks out you. And now we're back to the... Hmm. I thought I did it all. Let's try again, this time. If it's two dot dot, you become three dot. Three dot, and then you become two. What's the advice? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, there seems to be a pattern to the order of the symbols on the wheel, right? Does it? I think it's a base three number system. It goes one dot, two dots, one line, one line and one dot, and so on. The missing symbol has to fit that pattern. So it is... No, but... Hmm. All right, let me think, let me think. Let so me think. it goes... Uh, there seems to be a pattern to the order of the let symbols me hear it again. on the wheel, right? I think it's a base three number system. It goes, it goes one, one dot, dot, two dot, two dot one three... Line, one line and one dot, and so on. The missing symbol has to fit that pattern. That just uh, so it goes one dot, two dot, one line, one line, and dot. I don't get it. So like, let's see. One dot, two dot, one line, one line, and dot. So, it seems to imply. Base three. I'm not good with numbers. Because again. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. So add a dot. So. All right. I think I understand the number system then. A little bit more. So. One dot. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that mean that we align two with eight? All 
right then. That would make 1-1 one, one. hilarious. 3 would be 3. And then 9, because this should be 6. 7, 8, 9. Wrong code. Nope. Or maybe literally... Well, let's count it then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Apparently it's wrong. Even though the game says it's a base three number system. Which apparently means Jack Diddley. Or does it literally mean... But again, it can't be that because we already tried it. I hate this. This makes no sense. Even the advice doesn't make sense. It's a base three number system. Well, what does that have to do with the f cracking the code? Nothing. Well, fine. We'll play a fun... No, wait. No, we already did that. Mm. I thought, ooh, maybe... Mm. All right, let me think, let me Hear think, it let me again. Think. Uh, there seems to be a pattern to the order of the symbols on the wheel, right? I think it's a base three number system. It goes, goes one dot, one two dot, dots, two one dots, line, one, one line. line, one line and one dot, and so on. The missing symbol has to fit that pattern. Missing symbol, he says. But it obviously isn't this, because this is the answer, is it not? We counted the damn thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Equals nine, right? And that's one because one dot. And that's three because one line equals three in the base three number system. It's the wrong code. And again, the only, like, hint is the nothing burger of dot, dot, line. Or, like, line, line, dot, dot. Which, even if we went, oh, dot, dot, line. So does the answer mean, because what even is that? Let's count the numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, seven. So do we align the first one with seven and pray? Maybe? Alrighty then, that would make you that. That would make you that. And that would make you all the way down here. Oh, hey, wow, would you look at that? It's the wrong code because it's almost all this is nothing but bullshit. Oh, wait. Make you that. Still bullshit. Because again, it is. Dot, line, line, dot, dot. Which is... Or did I miscount and it's actually eight? So if we align everything with that, let's try that then. Let's play the magical game of pain. Still the wrong code. Well, time to... I don't even fucking know because game's a fucking asshole. Because they're also like fake numbers. Like these... Th ones that don't exist within the system. Like, this is the final one that is, like, actually a part of the system. Let's reset that. Except it wouldn't be that because zero seems to be ten. Which I guess it makes sense for the base three. I don't know. So yeah, this is very dumb, but I want to figure it out for myself, but the game won't let me because its hints are stupid. It's a base three number system. Okay, then we can read it. This is one and this is three within its thing. It's basically, or is it? I don't fucking know. Maybe base. But 
be hilarious. Nope. Then again, base 3 is, like, technically this wouldn't be correct because base 3 is would be odd because then, if I understand the new math song by the funny music man who did the chemic uh, uh, chemistry song where you sing all of the chemistry board, technically, like, it, it isn't, like... <laughs> Technically, base three would be like, ah, oh, this is one, this is two, this is three, and then you go to the tens place. Because it's a base three number system. Which... Oh, that wouldn't work. Um, now I'm overcomplicating it because this game has terrible hints. Again, the advice uh, makes no sense. Uh, it's like, ah, it's a base three number a system. To the order of the symbols on the wheel, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's a base three number system. It goes one dot, two dots, one line, one line and one dot, and so on. The missing symbol has to fit that pattern. Missing symbol, it says. <laughs> Meanwhile... I don't even know fucking how to align this, because that makes no sense. It's like, oh yes, two lines and two dots, but where do I fucking align the wheel? There's nothing there in that paper to make sense to align anything. Unless it literally is, oh, you have to understand base three number systems. This is stupid. I don't fucking know. So we're gonna brute force it then because this is being stupid and it's not actually giving anything to solve the code. Alright then. Uh, we already did that one and the game says, oh, fuck off. Oh, well, actually, if we align everything correctly, then. We can just get rid of the copper thing, damn you. Wrong code. We move all of them up one, I guess. Oh wait, no, they they were smart, and made it kind of bullshit in a way. Okay, move it over. It's gonna follow this pattern eventually. That was easier to do than actually solving the stupid puzzle because it wasn't a puzzle because it didn't give me all the parts. I don't even know what the answer was at the end because it's like, it's a base three number system so I can read the number system and kind of parse through it. But then I have no idea what the line line dot dot was in relation to the code wheel, which was the most important part. <laughs> If that one actually functioned as a hint properly, I would have been able to solve it without knowing it was a base 3 number system. Literally, it being a base 3 number system was irrelevant to the information that I needed. Utterly loathsome. Dear Mr. Edison, I wanted to thank you for letting me make use of the P for all these years. Among several things, I was able to convince the workers I was raising their pay to $5 a day, when in fact I gave them a pay cut. But I had to let P4 go. As per instructions, I've shipped it to Europe. H has it, so I assume the war will begin as soon as he can take over. We'll let him have his fun. Lord knows that kind of purge will be good for Europe, and then end it with a bang as planned. Out of the chaos of war, a new order will emerge. I've enclosed a picture from Florida of you, me and Firestone. We should attempt to spend more time on the golf course this summer. They sent a piece of Eden to Hitler. Stay classy, you assholes who make terrible puzzles. 
Yeah, just did not like that puzzle. Because the code thingy was bad. The code thingy was very bad. But now we can actually go into the database. See locations. That is all place for Tus uh, Florence. That is all for Tuscany. And there is one left in Romagna. Good. So that's all and... That's all, that's all. I'll just put a mark on the fast travel station so I can get out of here. Just let me climb the goddamn wall, you assholes. But yeah, that was just a poor puzzle in my opinion. The advice was nice, because like, ah, here's how you can understand the thing. But then it goes and uh, doesn't give me the actual information needed to do the code wheel. Which is stupid. We're gonna go back to the villa so we can do villa things. Pick up the money. The cat wanted out of the room, and so he has been freed. We'll go, pick up the money, leave. Back to Romagna, apparently. Be gone, thief. Be gone, thief. It's really telling that, again, most of my clientele are mercenaries. Thieves and whores. Give me money. Give me lots of money. And we are nearing the truth. But yeah. Every now and then, the truth puzzles go from, Oh yeah, I can get that. I can understand that. To completely incomprehensible. And I'm sure that there is, like, something there that lets you infer how to do it, but it's just, like, nothing obvious. If you need to essentially solve a puzzle to then solve the puzzle, I feel like you have already gone too deep within puzzle frickin' diddly dee. Just make a puzzle. Don't make a puzzle that requires a puzzle. It makes no sense. I forgot this game. Oh no. I, it's such a minor thing that I do not consciously acknowledge that this game has a first person mode. Because it has a first person mode, I've used it. But then, when I'm not using it, my brain just kind of glazes over the fact that it exists. And, uh, and I'm still not over that terrible puzzle. It's so bad. Because, again, unless you have the information which I do not see in that puzzle where the information is. The closest that I got, which was basically less time-wasty brute-forcing it, more than anything. That's a neat tree. It's probably in very much pain. But, yeah, it's just like, I got enough information to brute-force it, but... And, like, brute force it in a, like, non-time-wasty manner. But aside from that, the entire thing just felt like, Bullshit game, fuck off, and actually function, ye dick. Will you fucking work, you whore of a game? Or must I hunt down the people who made you one by one like an actual ass creed? Utter infuriating. There we go. 
He's like, I want to know what the secret was to divining the actual answer that wasn't just, oh, so that's how the number system works. I'll just align them like so in diddly diddly d. I want to solve the puzzles legitimately and not look up the answers, which I guess in a way I solved it within reason and because I didn't look up an answer at least and using the information. Why? <laughs> that is the question. Uh... Well, I guess I'll go grab those two, round down, do the stuff in the city, and then uh, that will be that. And we'll go do the mission mission. So yeah, I guess in the end it's not a terrible puzzle because with the base three number system hint, I was able to actually divine the answer within a simple enough way and but it just feels bad that I didn't why very odd I'll kill all your friends and then I'll grab the seeker just be ready to strike Kill him. Kill again? You're gonna die, because you're an asshole. I don't even know what I did. I ran over some people. You're the guards. You're not supposed to care about the people. You beat up the people. You threaten them for petty things. So what, I ran him over with a horse? People do that every single day. More utter lunacy. The gods are terrible. Sorry, Leonardo, I can't come to you right now. I have a lot of missions to do here. And if I'm correct, there should be one more. Diddly D. Glyph here, which we'll run into eventually, probably. Well, again, we'll save doing all the things for after doing all of the towers. Just to keep things simple. Hey, hey! It does mean that there are going to be assassination contracts out here in yeah. the countryside. Why do you care? I'm not killing them. I'm running them over with a horse. That is completely different. It's not even murder. Why do you care so much, guards? Ezio did not grab like he was supposed to. He's a terrible assassin. Must be murdered right now. Leonardo, your subtitles are flung very far. Good, f good form. Am I going to have to have Leon uh, Ezio over here for the rest of my time in Flory? And now we'll head to the final one. Technically, the one up above is the one we're going to ignore, but bleh. I think my horse is silent. And my horse is silent. Interesting. Horse, what are you doing? Go to tower. Who is even important enough to have a tower at their house? They build it themselves. It seems rather cookie cutter for this area. 
Ezio, over here. Yes, Leonardo Toad. Such magical countryside. Alrighty, now we shall head in and do that. Grab the codex page, do the beat up event, then the assassination missions. And uh, then we will run by Leonardo, do the final tower that will probably reveal nothing. And then talk to Leonardo and do whatever we're actually supposed to do in this place. You ever just hip check someone with a horse? You heard my my steed. Ezio may not have killed civilians, but I sure do. Especially when they knocked down my horse. That was obviously attempted murder. Attempted murder should not be allowed in this city. What's wrong with you, huh? Finish off the painting payments. Ezio, over here. It's like it expects me. Like I understand he exists, man. You can stop now. Just want to make sure. Nope. Interesting, but I like the current one. I just like to see what op options there are. That guy's living on the edge. It's like the guards realize, damn, they stole the page. Well, we keep putting guards there. We can't let our employers know that we failed. And then we'll just act like, oh no. Utterly impossible that anything happened. That lasts way too long. Just let me get my math. Come on. <laughs> I am annoyed by that so much. I don't care to read the irrelevant flavor text of Hibbledy Bibbledy. We're going to go and, like, fuck up the universe or whatever. And game, that's not what I fucking... Game, you are triple asshole right now. You will not get me a Satino back. Guardi! Ah, uh, 30 seconds, yeah, because the game's an asshole. Vatene! Via del mio terreno! I have a thing for you, though. Okay, I'll just kill them all. Kill them all! They don't seem to care. Well, I fought. And I win. That's probably not how it canonically went down. But hey. I got paid. And now I need to get back in the damn city. I need to get back in the damn city. You dare? What? You dare? Why are you doing Fly into this? fish! Ah, it's not my fault that he couldn't swim. If he did it, he should have learned to swim. He lived near water. Also, not my fault that he apparently was allergic to water and instantly combusted upon contact with it. Really, that just makes him a witch. I did a good thing. I did the best thing. Mm. 
murder is always the best answer to everything. There is nothing else. My goes on the finest. In fact, let me triple check. Let me go to the database. Locations for Romania. There is another one somewhere. Probably in the city. Probably this building, actually, because it's highlighted. Nope. All right. Change of plans. We're going to grab the codex page. Then we're going to scour this place for landmarks that might have the diddly D. And then we'll take the diddly D. Hello, friends. He shoved me. They're asking for death. And now you'll bury yourself. How dare you hit me? That's illegal, and you know, in 50 states. On the ground. And now I stab you. You can't call me an assassin. You didn't even see the knives. My hands were just very sharp. In which case, it's their fault. Let's see. No, because that just had the... Assassin, so it's poss- Oh, it's probably over there. Yes, it's probably over there. In which case, it seems to be everything. So we shall go do the beat-up event and then the assassinations. And after we do the assassinations, we will do the final tower, which will probably be where the final glyph is for this area. And just put everything back together. My husband carries on with wanton sluts. My reputation. And I Harsh. stop with the bastard. Please make him feel my displeasure. Like with a sword? I mean, if he died, you wouldn't be tied to him anymore. Don't. Oh, I guess I could hide in it. So will obviously be somewhere. Presumably behind a building. Just want to make sure I'm not going too far away. Oh. Aha! There's the slut man. Bye to your neck. Come on, fat man, fight me. Goodbye to your neck. Slam to your face a bit. Slam by to your neck. I'm sorry. I regret it. Truly, I'm going straight home. I swear. You better go home now. I take your money too. Wanton hubby. Hilarious. Let the assassination contract dispenser. And do them just because they're quick, easy, a break of pace. Whisper to me, oh pigeon of secrets. Fuck you. Thin the ranks. Our enemies are patrolling in Forli, and I fear they will rise up and attack Florence. I want you to destroy some of Girolamo Riaro's men in the guard force. Hopefully that will buy us some time. Just six guards? Any guards? Luckily it's not timed. If it were timed, that would be asshole move. Especially because one box is in the country and one box is in the city. You might get a job that is for one or the other. 
Are they... Oh. All through the city. Good, good. Luckily, I'm able to leave my calling card. I'm coming to get you, little man. I'm coming to get you. Eh? Ah, I must be on a, the adjacent building. Oh, there's even a feather. Oh, come on. That was... That totally would have worked. If only this place was owned by De Medici, then I wouldn't be gathering all this notoriety. Hmm, there is a feather up there. Can I make it? I don't think I can. I can! But will I be able to actually climb up there? Come on, that looks like it should be a climbable. There's different colored brick and everything. They even have unique city dialogue. It's not just, ah, he is here. No, he's here in Forley. well tear down that oh there's a treasure chest I might as well grab it no more guards for you <laughs> but I guess while I just run about killing dudes I need I feel like I want to play League of Legends more but my brain does the weird thing where it's like I want to play this game but the idea also simultaneously scares me a bit this is like a weird gaming anxiety spikes up. His friend just... His friend just left him behind. Cool. Wish that happened more often for me. Oh, there's another beat-up event that got summoned. Makes me wonder if there's a courier event that's hidden underneath a bunch of diddly dee. Also, if just killing six guys means that they can't attack, they did not have a force. Sure, it's about buying time, but Jesus Christ. Apparently, I know where people are through walls intermittently. Thieves, thieves, thieves. Courtesans, courtesans. That's a terrible place. I'll take it. Like, the fact that it's right there in a terrible place makes me want to have it. Need to have it. I could have... I could have bought a courtesan to do it. I already got that one. If it was money, I probably would have gone ahead and done it. Lead? And pomegranate? I don't believe you. You're an assassin. Will you beat up my husband? That's kind of hilarious. I hear you often help the common folk. Go beat up my husband, please. I've 
Sure. Also, you'd think tearing down wanted posters would make you more notorious. Or at least amongst the guard. I need to find the man. The stupid man. The stupid little man. Oh, there's a feather. I want a feather. I don't care about that. I care about the feather. That was simple. The Adulterer Avenger. Take this, man. I'll beat you up right in front of the blacksmiths. Get a job. Get a job. Get... I messed up my combo. Get... Oh, I want to do a finisher on you. <laughs> She's right. I am a piece of shit. I'll go home. Hilarious little man. Like this. Surely this place doesn't also have a thing. And suddenly all the sound died. Like not all the sound, but like we entered this place and suddenly the criers stopped crying. Uh, Romania. The one place that we are missing is the one of the glyph. Hilarious. Even, oh, ro even. Now back to assassinating. Oh yeah, but I got distracted by various things. I think by a feather. But I want to play more Assassin. Uh, I want to play more Assassin's Creed. You know the game that I'm already playing. But I want to play more League of Legends. You know, like mute the chat and then just play the game and people int. Well, what are you gonna do? Just play the game relaxed, like. But still, for whatever, my brain just summons gaming anxiety for some reason. Like an asshole. And I don't know how to overcome it, aside from just playing the game. But getting to that point is difficult. <laughs> the way that he brushed, like, was reaching to, like, push people away because it was in the push away button mode. Almost made it look like he was opening the coup. The coop. Girolamo Riaro. Riario. The Lord of Forley seems to be plotting something. A group of his men broke into Palazzo Pitti and murdered several residents, stealing a rare map in the process. We may have lost the map, but we'll make them pay. Kill them without being seen. Poison time. Poison time. This is why we bring poison. So that we can just roughly brush up against them. Give them a light kiss. They fucking die. It's all beautiful. Bye bye. <laughs> he fell into the water. That's why it went so quick. Because <laughs> normally it takes them a long time, but because it was up near the water, he fell in. Lol. The last time... I snuck up on a guy who had a guard. Bad things happened. 
I'll buy all the sheep's urine. Pouring that into their bloodstream will certainly do a number on them, and Jesus Christ, I can carry so much medicine now. That Hell yeah. Now they dance. They do the dance. Oh, that's one way to bring guards away from doorways. Po if you poison a patrolling guard, well, you'll have to time it because they will patrol a little bit. It's what you get, little man. It's what you get. Another dead couple. Very nice. So why, are you here? so why are you here? I don't know. Why are you here? Why do you exist, little man? Why are you so ugly? Why does nobody love you? Get some shoes. Please. Please. Your pleas fall on deaf ears, and soon you too will die. Let none defend this vile Let none defend them, and then you can bribe him, and he'd start defending you. You know, despite putting an assassination contract mission generator right over here, they do make it kind of a pain in the ass to get here. You can only approach it from one side of the building. None of the other ones have clear grip spots that let you up. It seems as if the Borgia family is making a move towards Forley. Florence might be next. Borgia archers are on the rooftops looking to strike. Eliminate them before they call for help. Luckily, archers are still bad. That is hilariously annoying. Come on, let me search you for more knives. No knives. Game, you're being very rude. Game is being very rude. I'm gonna hear the halfway point alarm because of that. Do archers just not carry throwing knives? No, they do. Alright, then we'll need to stock up on throwing knives. I think that's a blacksmith on the way to the diddly D. I should have done my patented cr crash mat technique. I am a fool. An utter failure. Still no new armor. Understandable. I just keep forgetting to use smoke bombs. Then well again, the game didn't really give me an opportunity to use them when they gave them to me, so maybe it's just a psychological thing, huh, game? And plus, it's just a, like in an off spot that you need to like kind of reach towards. So it's not really intuitive. You need to swap to it and then use it and then swap back. And brain just wants that to be a climb point. Come on, climb. Uh, why can't it ha be a good climbing thing? No, you have to come over here to one of the other places on the opposite side of... Where the damn thing is. Again, just... This feels poorly designed to me. We're gonna put an assassination 
contract thing up here and then make it a pain in the ass to get to. Not terribly, but it just feels like you could have put one climb point where it is. My connections in Venice have informed me that a boat has been seen scouting for the Ottomans and Forley, looking for a good place to invade. Kill the boat's captain. We need to get there, swim out, and murder. That doesn't even look like me. It is a good likeness, though. Good job. Good job. Print. Oh, is that... Is that the uh, red ring that was there that I saw earlier? And I asked, What's that? And I, and I, I guess I got my answer. I got, I got medicine. I don't need to worry about that. Risky escapes? Pfft. I have medicine. Broken bones? Medicine. An autoimmune disease? Medicine. Medicine? Medicine. And we don't even have a gondola to go out there. I shall wait. That's a sharp drop off. Impressive. Looks like I'm going to have to kill their friend on the little scout boat. Too risky. To let live. It is the exact same boat that was in Assassin's Creed 1. Hilarious. Like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it is literally the same model. Because it looks like the same model. I'll wipe out the guards at the back of the ship. That way I can ambush him when he loops back around. Uh, I'll need to find a good way on to the back of the ship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I leave. I leave. <laughs> and there's even a gondola that if you want to escape with, you can. Hilarious. No gondola for getting there. Gondola getting away? Sure. And there's still more assassination contracts to do. Good God, imagine if you got the... The Borgias are on the roof. Wait, no. Or was, was that one timed? Yeah, that one was timed. Kill them before they have time to cry for help. Imagine getting that while you're in the countryside. Then you have to run into the city, climb up to a rooftop, and then begin killing them. On the opposite half of the city. I don't think it's physically possible. Or if it is, it would be very close. You would have, like, ten seconds to spare. I wonder if elbowing people into the river counts as killing them. It's not my fault. They need to learn to swim. Again, if you live near water and you don't know how to swim, well, that's just your fault at that point. What killings shall be killed? Kill, kill, kill. 
Whisper your answers of wisdom, dear bird. Dead on arrival. Girolamo Riario is attempting to make to send an agent to the Pope. Make sure the agent never leaves the city. We must go into the city to kill him. Go into the city to find him. Go into the city to murder. To make sure that he can never leave the city. I run with my swords out. Be gone. I'm here for murder. Get out of my way, I need to murder. Where's the secret agent man? Again, hilarious that the Herald is considered my enemy. Maybe he's on the other side. I don't believe you're a friend. I think that you're a fiend. My fault. It's not the way game, please. So he's on the roof the entire time. How was I supposed to know? I do kind of miss getting vigilantes on my side. Having a few vigilantes would be rather nice. That's one thing that I kind of miss. I mean, you could still have kept them as missions. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is saying like, ah, you're not gonna sell missions today. Game, 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 game. Why are you being an asshole? This is the one thing that we can climb, you <laughs> dip shit game. But like, it would make even more sense for Ezio to be one to be like, ah, saving people who are harassed by the guards. And then you get vigilantes to help you. It makes perfect sense, Daddy. Go towards the light. Girolamo Riario has imported a new commander from Venice. He is guarding the lighthouse on the coast. Kill him. I've been there before. It'll take me a bit to get there because it's very far away. It is the lighthouse on the coast. I'm in the goddamn city. I would honestly not mind if they specifically had like certain missions per box that are in the general vicinity just to be like ah so these ones will be in this area just so that would be a tad bit easier i mean not terrible but still uh... oh that lighthouse we have not been there before Deja vu. I've never actually been here before. Ah. And yes, yes, yes. At least we'll be able to come by this place sooner than expected. Horse was interested in tree. I'll get out of there. Search range. Loop back around. They'll be like, who's that guy on the horse again? Uh, I'm... 
I was well outside of your search range. You should have given up by then, assholes. How dare they search for me? I just want to run people over on my way to work. Is that too much to ask, guard dude? Is it not in my right to break somebody's arm? On my way to work? We'll do the smart thing and we'll swim around. Does mean that we're gonna have to murder. But oh well. Okay, I thought that you might have been looking at me. Alright. When it just magically decides to give you land. 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 Oh, you want to come over here, big boy? Echolo, stop him! Imagine if I missed this time. When there are guards ready to eat me. Imagine if this was how the guards had to get up here every single time. Game. Go up the way. We need to be careful. Use our techniques the way that we can. Goodbye. Damn. There! And now you're dead. You know, these bars would probably be very hot, considering they're not that far away from a fire. Imported straight from Venice, huh? Seems rather cheap, if you ask me, considering that he's dead. And now we can synchronize, harmonize with the countryside. It's you! We're gonna set up there, but then we're gonna wander around... Yeah, I think one around there, and uh, get the final glyph for this area. It's you over here. It's you. There's a feather. Give me that goddamn feather. Hello, friend. Because, I, again, I assume this is the place. We'll look on the front, the various faces, the most obvious places. Of course, it's not here. The twist is that the glyph is the one saying, here, Ezio, here. I feel like this is the place, I can only assume. There isn't any other, like... I know, but you'll take me to Venice or something. You are going to Venice! Alright, we need to go to the database. The database. It's the ship! Gonna have to expressively ignore my friend. Ezio, here, over here. 
It's you. Here. Over here. More accurate Leonardo voice. Ezio. Here. Here. Over here. Over here. Climb faster. I'm holding R1. Dear God. Ezio. Here. That's totally what I wanted here. to do, game, and totally not you fucking with my controls again. So. Ezio, here, over here. Just looking for any sign of the thing. Ezio, here, over here. I know you exist. Shut up. Honestly, I'm mostly disappointed they didn't have the voice actor say five billion different variations of that. Okay, so it's here. not the Over ship, here. even though that's what it fucking should. I don't think we can go into the ship itself. It's very blank. Ezio, here. Over here. But yeah, it is this dock. Ish. Ezio, here, over here. Also, doesn't help that all of these lootable little boats have similar little ooh shinies as the glyph does. Ezio, here, over here. So yeah, it's either that building or the ship. Those are the only, like, two places that it could reasonably, but I didn't see a place either. Ezio, here. Over here. Break your knees, little man. I just wonder where Ezio, it could be. Here. Over here. Apparently, murder is okay. Good to know. Like, if I was placing glyphs, I would have put it in the little tunnel there. That seems like it would be a nice place to put it. You have to get on the ground instead of... Just trying to find the goddamn glyph. Here's the glyph. You put it in the damn database game. You say it's here. Where is it? Because you say Romagna. This here. Bah. Naval strategy maintaining. The, so it is the ship? So it just talks about ship. So it's either this like shipping base like big building... That's like the base of operations for the ships. Or it is the goddamn ship. I am very annoyed. The game... I hate the placement of the glyphs sometimes because they just make zero sense. Sometimes. It's just like, I'm looking for the glyph and it was like, oh, we decided to put the glyph on Mars. But we're playing in Italy. Yeah, but we wanted to put it on Mars. It's what it feels like with this damn game sometimes. No, no, don't actually make game. Make here. bullshit. Over here. And this time we will swim around the goddamn. Game, I want to get in the water. Get in the goddamn water. I'm not in the mood for you second guessing my controls. I'm Ezio. looking. Here. For goddamn glyphs. Why isn't it on your boat? Ezio, here, over here. We have officially discovered that this glyph is on Mars. Hate this. Ezio, <laughs> oh, it's here. in this area, psych. It's probably on the ass of someone random. Is it that boat out there? Ezio, would be 
the ultimate here. subversion. Psych, you thought it was the boat that was in the goddamn picture? Nope. You idiot. You fucking moron. Okay, where the fuck is the goddamn bullshit? You say it's here. It needs to be here, game. Where is it? Where is it, game? Even if we take it very slow, look for the glitches that uh, come with the diddly D. You, you, you know where to be sound because the game's an asshole. Listen, you already have goddamn puzzles. Why do you have to make finding them a, a puzzle at the same time? Like, sure, make it a little bit of a hunt, but this is just stupid, man. Is it in here and I'm just dumb? In the tunnel? I don't see any of the little glitches. Is it on the... F the walls? I just... I don't understand this. The game explicitly said it's this building and or ship. And I just... I don't see anything on the ship. He's a cheat and a liar, is he? Then let's fix that. We're not even done with the assassination missions. I just wanted to find the goddamn glyph while I'm here. And the game is just like, psych. You don't get to find it. It's just like, I have this on. I'm looking for any lights. There are no lights. Unless that's it. No, that's treasure chest. Right? My mini-map agrees with me. That is indeed a treasure chest. And it's not on. There's no con constructs on the building itself. We've already looked around the building from every angle. Like, unless it's inside the building somehow. Which would be extra assholey. That's what it's gonna be, isn't it? One of these windows is broken, and that's how we get in. Now I have to fucking look through these in a fit of paranoia. Because that is in that is entirely within realm of possibility. Because it has gone to the point where my brain is, one of these is going to be open. One of these is going to be open. And it will be the way in. Where is the goddamn glyph? I am borderline going to look it up because the game is telling me that it is here. And yet it is nowhere to be fucking found. This is not fair game. You are telling me that thing is here and then thing is in fact not here. How is thing supposed to be here if thing is not here? Just like the fucking smoke bombs. I'm looking all over the goddamn place for a way in. Ezio, here. Over here. I am so goddamn angry. Where is it? I'm actually gonna look this up because this is bullshit. I have dug around this entire goddamn place. Avampasto Venezianismo. Hilariously, it auto-corrected. So, obviously, people have had issues with this glyph in particular. It's not just me! It's on the goddamn lighthouse, then why? Oh, yeah, sure, I guess, but it's in the goddamn background. That flies in the face of the entire thing. Have the picture be about the goddamn... Sh lighthouse, then. 
and have the thing like the lighthouse was not mentioned once in that goddamn blurb. So apparently it's on the, the lighthouse. Whoever made that design decision needs to be shocked. Because that is terrible design. The picture did not focus on the goddamn thing. My dude. You can't design something like that. I'm going to triple check just to make sure it's not underneath here. Yeah, like, you can't design something like that. Where every other picture in the goddamn game shows the building or the general vicinity that the goddamn glyph is at. But now I see it. I probably should have recognized the glitches when I was over here for my assassination. But still, it should not be here. Sure, the lighthouse is in the picture, but two other features were far more prevalent. I am become death, the destroyer of my ass. What stupid bullshit will I have to do today? Nine triangle. Alright, triangle goes to nine, I guess. Because there's a triangle in the most bottom middle left pick. And then to the right of the tower, there's a nine in the clouds. So dibbity da. Nine is shit. Nine is my ass. Give me a single triangle. Five is. I am going to murder your entire fucking family. All of them! <laughs> All right. Two is also... Two is also blank. Ah! I have no idea. It seems to be, like, make a shape, so obviously the, yes, it has something to do with that. I know. It has something to do with the shapes. So I'm going to assume that, like, one line is one. Two lines is two. Three lines is triangle. Why... Two and a half triangle, well, one and a half triangle there would be like one up, I don't know. All right. Ooh. Circle. And then square. All right. Circle, square, circle, square. Wait, what am I doing? Your triangle. I'm a dumbass. I need to play around with five. Oh! Alright. Or it might just go in order. No, it does not. Okay, that one somehow worked. And I didn't even under understand the number system there. I was just guessing by like, oh, well, that kind of goes there. These puzzles are dumb. These puzzles are stupid. I'm gonna make something and then they don't make anything. Test authorization. Here comes a time in life where every experiment when we must test our results outside in the world. I do not relish a successful outcome, but one is essential if we are to begin the foundations of a new world order. Global security and prosperity depends on a steady hand guiding the populace. A hand that will not falter under the weight of a conscience. Give zero the authorization. I believe that history will vindicate us in the end. Lol. Are you saying that the scientist behind the quote is a Templar? At least that's all the passcodes for this area. And that one was oddly generous. Again, I have... I I looked over those, like... Not Edison pictures, looking for anything. There were no... None. There was just the d line line. It was just the line line dot dot. Nothing else existed. There were no numbers. 
None that, like, if that stood out that much and that was the next puzzle up, what the fuck was the other one? Are you high? Like, I just don't understand why it was super easy to do that cipher and then guess. So much easier compared to the other one, which had no numbers at all. Numbers did not exist there. If somebody comes up to me and says, numbers are real, they will die! Because they were not real. They are still not real. Shapes have taken over the universe! One of my spies slipped up and was captured by Girolamo Riario. Girolamo, whatever. Lord of Forley. Now he's being, going to execute her. She has taken the countryside. You must kill whoever is standing watch, but don't let them see you, or my agent will be executed. Why can't I just kill all the guards? And I'm just sad that my throwing knives aren't good enough to kill people instantly anymore. Just, just rooftop people. Those are the only ones that get to die. Also, kind of asshole to be like, Ah, yes, this is the place! When it's far back there. I need, I need, I need mercenaries. I need someone. Oh wait, I wouldn't even be able to do that because the game's an asshole. Wait. Game fucking fuck off. Climb. Why? I hate the alteration to how everything works in this. With this system. Why? Why do the arrow people no longer instantly die? Be consistent, please! Please! It's so annoying. We're gonna change how things work, because difficulty. Go fuck yourself. Be consistent for the love of God. If they are on a roof, they are Arrow Man. And go down in one frickin' blinkin' diddly shit. Fuck off. I am done with your bullshit game. Just function. Normally. For the love of God. Because I just know that if I try to send in mercenaries, they're like, It was him! He sent them! It's just very annoying. Absolutely aggravating. Just absolutely goddamn aggravating. Apparently this one doesn't have... Guards? I just wish that the game was consistent. Just ever so slightly. Oh, sure, you can say, oh, well, technically it wasn't actually an archer man, but he was on a roof. Why would a non-archer man be on a roof if he's not an archer man? You asshole. Because the, ent the entire game has been teaching me, oh, all right, I will only use... My fucking throwing knives on archer dudes, because apparently that's the all, that's all they're good for anymore. And then the game is like, you know what we need? We need to actually put non-archer dudes on a roof to make this assassination mission ever so slightly more annoying and just railroad the player on how to complete the mission, which is leave a door open. I wanted to come in from the roof and air assassinate him, but no, I don't get to have my fun. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I don't get to play the game my way. You would have done this I am not Frank Sinatra. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. 
I owe you a debt, brother. I cannot do it my way because the game will not let me. That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Venezia waits! What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Yeah, who invited you? Nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance. Oh well. Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there. I need help. I need to get a boat then. This is very convenient. Help the screaming woman get back to the docks. How did you even get there? Were you stranded? Where's a rowboat? Once again, get, 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 get on, clocks. How'd you even get on the island if you didn't want to be there? Hello, my lady. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. To the docks, I presume. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to Game, why'd you put me here? Which Game! Exactly why? And you are Messer... Auditore. But please. Game, please. Yes. Well, let's read who this is. Ah! A countess by marriage, Caterina was notorious uh, for before she ever arrived in Forley. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Caterina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. In 1473, when she was ten years old, Caterina became engaged to, I guess, Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was fourteen. Aha! I get it, it was different times, but still! Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forli. When the Pope died, Lutus sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel Santa... Uh, Santa, Sant Angelo, Sant Angelo, and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. In 1484, she moved with her family to Forli, paid off by some uh, someone with a grievance against her husband. The Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forli and Imola. She wasted no time winning the favor of nearby rulers, revising the tax system, and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies' wives and children in pu and, oh, harsh in punishment. While Forley was under attack by Caesar Borgia, the Pope's son, she sent the Pope a letter that had been rubbed with plague sores. Ultimately, Forley and Caterina fell to Caesar Borgia in 1499. Caterina was captured and sent to Rodrigo Borgia in Rome, who kept her in prison for a year, and is rumored to have raped her alongside his son. When she emerged from the Vatican, her hair had turned white. Exiled to Florence, Caterina died of pneumonia in 1509. Well, you have a very bad light ahe life ahead of you. I'm My Katerina. apologies. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Can you get me Do to you Venice? Have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. I simply want to go to Venice to kill people. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. She is the countess of this city. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katerina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward I to I doubt that I'll see you again, considering what brotherhood is all about. But now Please I have access to Venice. My most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known. It's quite all right, my friend. I mean, I literally only just met her. 
Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. <laughs> her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. <laughs> kind of like that. Oh, you look that Leonardo gave Ezio there. Are we ever going to return to Desmond? It's been a long time. I get that this is an upgraded animus and we're training, but Jesus, Everything there we go. Right. We're back to the boy. It's been five billion years. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Yet. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. Becoming so Altair. what you're saying is... <laughs> what we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. At least, Subject 16. Sean was we have nice about Desmond, that. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope and so. I th <laughs> and I thank you anyway, for that. I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. You still haven't cleaned off your shirt. Ah, so that is your secondary desk. Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. I mean, I was forced into it at it's Abstergo. Getting easier. I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it He's means got a point, but still. People. Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. No, and not technically, yet. not choosing to kill for? could be just as hey, bad, depending on who it is. He's giving you Ezio's ability so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians. What are you, Desmond? A vegan? You'd be the first vegan assassin <laughs> in history. Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes, there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will. Tron does have a point, but at the same time, comparatively, we are the good guys. We don't want to... We want to safeguard free will while they want to take it away. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Well, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as 16 says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. Anything else to say, my boy? What are you up to? What am I up? Who are you, my mum? <laughs> I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence, maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. Probably. Send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, we know that. So we read about that in the tomb. By way of Marco Polo. Yep. Seriously? Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kublai Khan. This right. This must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought <laughs> He's really getting together, into the history. But I'll tell you what. I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. <laughs> Another reason... Uh, well, somebody... Uh, there was a ghost there. Ghost outside the animus. I'm sh <laughs> Lucy, I'm showing symptoms. I saw a ghost messing with the animus. Uh -huh. But 
Yeah. Once, <laughs> that's just another thing, Sean, we have to work towards. If we kill all the Templars, we can uh, satisfy your curiosity. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it into a whole big thing. That's cool. So, how's she treating you? The translation software is still a bit laggy. You're probably <laughs> that's why it's so much time. Italian. I like that Sorry they actually that. explain no that. Abstergo's machine wasn't perfect either. And the subtitles? Definitely. Hilarious fourth wall break there. <laughs> they mention, ah, we finally added bloody subtitles. Hilarious that they actually acknowledge that. <laughs> That they acknowledge all of it. This is a pretty fancy warehouse that we have. Also kind of like the detail that there aren't any UI elements when outside the Animus. To kind of ground this as the real world. So what's the plan? We're going to see what you've managed to retain. Come on. I'd say, who do I get to kill if it weren't for the fact that I made a big deal about not Sturgo's killing anybody? Out there looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. We so have a whole only warehouse. It's a time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's You defense. haven't done that yet? I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. That... Uh, you haven't activated the defense system, lady. Lucy. We need that. That's very important. That is m most important. It is a very important thing. The defense sy system. Ah, there's side effects. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. Hopefully. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Etsy's. Have things. I? The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. I don't even know what you I'm seeing this time. Me. Why Etsy? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With, with his, his blood. blood. I've been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vaults. A few of the records of his later anima sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... He broke. I put him through. It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. Ah. Huh. And maybe... Irony there. Lied. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. And is that all? I like to listen. That's not what I want, game. Game, please. I just want to get there fast. Blinky, lights go blinky. That, that should be all of them. But Lucy didn't say anything. Nope, there we go. Again, this isn't the animus. So we didn't get a big flashy. You're done. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. Good night. I'm glad you're here. I'm happy to be alive. Hopefully no more. I wonder if there are any secrets out here. Like in Assassin's Creed 1. I know that there are like those these green ones, but they just seem to be already activated defense sensors. 
empty. So I wonder if there's like anything to do out here. Anything at all. Yeah, the green ones just seem to be already activated window sensors. Oh no. Templar. The Third Crusade. They even kind of act like the Third, like Assassin's Creed One, animations. Ah, it's the Altair memory. What's with all the horses? What's with the black animus? Hey, we're Ass Assassin's Creed Tip One again. This? Where am I? It's Acre. Altair. How the hell? Not even in the animus. I must have passed him. That must be his target. After the target. I already know where we're going. I do like that. This is a nice recreation of Akka in Assassin's Creed 2. Lady, I am already so much faster than you. The guard doesn't even care. That's how you know this isn't real. The guards care a lot. I think you should have gone much faster, but I guess you did have to, like, show players area not available during current memory. Hi, I could have gotten in there. But yeah, I explicitly remembered this when I was playing Assassin's Creed 1. I was like, hey, don't we come back here as Altair in Assassin's Creed 2 and climb this whole thing? <laughs> Would be interesting if like, they got the like original Altair voice actor to do the grunts. Well, they could have just, like, used the, reused the original grunts from Assassin's Creed 1, but, uh, then I think they'd still have to pay him because it's reusing in a new product. And they might not want to do that because, ah, we don't want to pay someone for a bit part. Greed. It would have been neat. But we're not here for assassinating. We're for, we're here for a different kind of slaying. What's her name? Maria. I don't remember Maria. There was a woman in Akka that apparently he ran into, but I don't remember her from Assassin's Creed 1. Because my memory is shit. Different kind of memory, somehow. I don't think this is how genetic memory works. That must be. This is one weird dream. Yeah, I don't think that's how genetic memory works, even in this crazy universe. And what is with the horses? They just make it weird. Horses just make it weird, man. And didn't she have a Templar... Like, diddly dee, a cloak. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we will. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dream. Weird dreams, that's all. all right. I, I followed the ready. genetic memory of a sperm somehow. Don't ask how. I don't ah, even know. Good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. 
Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. You have to tell him twice. Time to bother him. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. What are you working on? Hey, Sean. And I guess the game is like, no, you can't bother him multiple times. Once they say once, I'm busy, they're busy. What about you, Lucy? Hey. <clears throat> uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You still you sure? haven't wiped the blood off. We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... Ah, uh, so we're a gone. team. Four people. I'm sorry. What happened to the last one? I don't know what that to do That I'm replacing. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, kill them. if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Then back to work we go. Make sure there's no more dialogue. Oh. Really, I'm fine. I promise. Make sure. Yep. Then into the animus we go. We'll probably do the initial opening bit of Venice, and then I think that will be it because we've been going for a decent amount of time. And we finally revisited Desmond! After so many... So much time. So many in-game years. Look at that construction! And now for the main part of the game. 1980... 19. Brain. 1481. Dear God, if Ezio lived in 1900-anything. First things first. I'm going to activate this tower, because it's right here. Look at how pretty Venice is. It's like... Come on. Look at Venice. Mainly the walls. Fuck you. You can't tell me what to do. I am a rich man. You little nut. Motherfucker! Gah! Motherfucker. The game tried to kill me. Try to kill me! How dare it. How dare it try to kill me! I'm a good man! I'm a good Italian! Just wanted to climb a building like a Super Mario! Except not really because Mario is my uncle. Ah, Venetia. I wonder why that's blocked off. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do the thing. Or, idea. There was a fast travel station, right? We're going to use that fast travel station and we're going to immediately head back to the villa to activate whatever. Get the money. Get any upgrades and such. Yeah. And then we can come back and do a mission and then a few towers. But, like, Venice has to be the final place of the everything. For, like, the glyphs and stuff. Unless there's another area that I'm just forgetting about. Any treasure maps? Nope. Any paintings? Nope. Next time, I am sure. Next time, I am sure. Uh, wrong one. 
Ah, poison vial. Perfect. Ah, perfect. More armor, and I don't even need to repair. Let's see. Better speed, but worse deflect. What about small weapons? Butcher's knife. Well, I never use it, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Ah, done. I'll yeah, need to pick up just too late. Control. Just too little. Apparently that's a... Uh, what even is that? I'm going to guess that is getting it to a certain percentage of completion. We will grab the money and then buy that other sword. Hmm, let me uh, check my inventory. Have Did we... Happenstance. Nope, those are still encrypted. Darn. What is the percentage of things? Salute, Claudia. I'm Did wearing armor. The book? Eighty percent completion. Nice. Shops are a hundred percent. Renovations. Collections. We do not have all the codex pages, all the feathers. We have a model. When did we get a model? When did we get a model? When when did we get a model? Misagli's armor set complete. What's that? And apparently we haven't gotten all. Hmm. A presto, Ezio. But we are near. I'll go buy that final sword. Watch, that would be the final weapon to complete the set. But that, uh, that uh, extra armor set that's like specifically named. I wonder what it means. Pay for that. Ah, uh, now we can carry ten poison! Hell yeah! And literally, I think all that's left for me to buy is paintings and refueling stuff. And before we go-go, let me check the database of locations. All right, apparently F Venice does not exist in the database yet. I guess it makes sense we haven't actually been to Venice. Uh, yeah, we started in this place. That was the center that we started at. Would be very awkward for us to go all the way around. Be like, oh no, I missed Leonardo. I missed my boy. My boy. I missed my friend. Come on, Lord. Is there any paintings, painters nearby? There is one. I will be right back, my dude. I'm going to grab paintings that I can buy and quickly return. This bridge has a glyph! That's going to eat my soul. It has to be underneath somewhere. Oh, I see you! <laughs> glyph, 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 glyph. Oh, and since it glyphed, that should add it to the database of locations. Seven. Jesus Christ. So that does prove that Venice is the final destination. And fucking big. Spider time. I don't know what's happening to me. I've been in the machine. You keep putting me back in. And I am losing He's control. losing it. It's all blurring together. How convenient that happened right after we got out. I'm it's like the... A rifle. Oh. Gettysburg is in the distance. 
I just stabbed the man, and there is blood on my waistcoat. He is not handling it. Understandable, I mean, but still. Soprano, so beautiful. I'm in bed with her. She cries as Yeesh. I fuck her. I'm speaking at the forum. No one listens. In the forest, hunting. Oh. Poor guy is absolutely losing it, but my my dude, this is not a therapy session. I am not a therapist. I'm here. I have to stay here until you understand. Listen, why do we have these gifts, these abilities? These gifts? Because it's in our blood. The memories are in our blood? Or is it equal vision? Bloodlines. The seeds were planted as two worlds became one. Behold, the assassins, the children of two worlds. Uh, visited by Zeus? Going to assume... People visited... Yeah, basically kind of that stuff. Gods coming down onto humans. Sometimes literally. <laughs> that one was easy. What the hell? I guess they were like, sorry, we put you through a big monologue by uh, poor crazy 16. Have a, have a simple one. It's a throwback. I'm not going to get my painting today, am I? I'm not going to get my goddamn painting. I want a painting. I want to buy paintings. Why can't I buy paintings? Ah, ah, ah. Fine, we'll do the mission. We'll go talk to Leonardo. Say hi, what you doing? I was going to say plotting murder, but no, that's my job. Messer da Vinci. Oh. Yes. Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Senor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Take a quick tour of Venice with Alvise. Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable? This guy is actually a person. A Venetian native, Alvise worked as a baggage handler for several years. Until, convinced of Venice's superiority, he enlisted in the navy. In 1500, he was tasked at defending the fortress of Modern from the Turks. After a heavy night of drinking, Alvise awoke to Turkish cannon fire bombarding the town. Panicking while running across the deck, he tripped, hit his head, and drowned. When it became clear Venice had lost the battle, he was accused of negligence by the ship's captain and erased from the logs of the navy. You have a poor future ahead of you, my dude. You have a poor future ahead of you. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal. But a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Motherfucker. Let us continue. Motherfucker, there's another one right here. Where? Is it just on the ground floor? Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. <laughs> I was right here. Why didn't I go for the thing? Why didn't I go for the tower? And her clock tower. Magnifico. <laughs> come, come. I miss out on yet another glyph. Because game. No. no other city can match the size of Venezia's markets. Be it spices or silk, from near and far. There, <laughs> there is, is. There is. Fear. You were told to that guy's sell. covered in blood already. The rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. No, no, stop, stop. My fish. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Why is that guy already covered in blood? Guards just randomly covered in blood are scary. Emilio disagrees. A miniature man. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? <laughs> I left my money with my bags. Hey, on your step, Corleone. 
And now I can't pay for it because they stole my pouch. Even though I still have all my money. All of my money. Palazzo della and something. Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now. Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. Bajanate, if you ask me. <laughs> nonsense. Nonsense, if you ask me. Ah, so that guy's not going to come out again. Stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with Shouldn't that, say it to their friend. face. <laughs> Should not say it to their face. Oh, what are you doing? You're under arrest for a disruptive commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. Such a flattering first view of Venice. Corruption. I wonder how much money you'll get for pickpocketing the rich people here. And here is your workshop. And now I present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect. As if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. <laughs> so, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Here to come in? I thought he was getting a tip. Maybe later. Leonardo to visit the <laughs> said no. Della Seta, to gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. <laughs> hug the <laughs> hug the Leonardo. He is a good man. Emilio Barbarigo. Emilio Barbarigo. Titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping yeah, the streets that could safe from crime and corruption. his finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient, as does, you know, opposition. Whoop. Codex. Codex pages. I have three of them. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Codexes. Aha! You found another one. How exciting! I just have to substitute this letter and move this over there. I've got it. Painter? He's more like. A friggin' super spy. I found this awesome place for you to explore and practice your skills. Santa Maria de Frari. I've marked it on your map. Is that what the Templar thing is? I can only assume. But yeah, we'll go there, get the glyph, and then uh, grab the various towers. And look for a goddamn painter. I order of the Doge himself. I am going to punch your family into non-existence. The only one allowed to exist is me. Me. I am the existence, not you. You don't get to exist. That one was easy. Huzzah! <coughs> Guardians! Oh no. They don't highlight anymore. Oh, I guess it was highlighted. the way 
in. Fix that. Come all the way out. Fix it. Come in again. Fix it. The death of all tyrants will set the people free. Yeah, because isn't, isn't that like... Alec not Alexander. Uh, like a, a Russian leader a long, long time ago. John Wilkes Booth. That implies that Abraham Lincoln was a... Well, let's see what all other people are. Cleopatra. Joseph Stalin. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. These guys are people who are bad. They can't be assassins. I refuse to believe that Joseph Stalin is a, an assassin. That would be insane. I think that is a... I clicked the wrong button because I am a fool. That's probably going to be... Like, directly... I had no idea why I didn't take damage there. That's probably, like, directly on... What is it? Emilio's doorstep. Which is like, ah, you come here, you do mission, then you get thing. I just want the, the lookout point. I just want the sink point. I must climb. The fancy buildings must be climbed. Nope, it is not at the diddly dee. I ask again, why do archers have hammers? Seems really poor design. Give me all your money. Your money belongs to me. He really should learn to use his hands. Well, he can't because he's dead. Again, would be hilarious if you could, like, slowly kill all the guards in a city. They're like, where did all the guards go? They were murdered by an assassin. But now we scan. Will a painter be revealed to me? That would be nice. If a painter was revealed to me. No, but there is a codex page. And then I can go there. Because that is far away for some reason. But codex page! Ha 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 ha! I almost thought that I jumped to my death. You were here. What did you see? You need to learn the rules, Caponi. You don't even have a prize for me? Very young. Get out of here. I don't want to see you again. I think we're here to put you. <laughs> Fool! I am Skeletor! I win! Pizza, Eman! Eat it! Hey, Classic. You can't tell me to get down. You're up here. Freedom <laughs> to the people! I'm coming for that codex page. All your friends are dead. I fight for me. Let's see. Did that reveal a painter? I don't think that it did. So we'll come over here, see if we can find anything, and maybe we'll do that. It's a Templar lair. 
Hmm. I'll do not know. If anything, I think I'll save the Templar Lair to begin next time. Yes, I think that's a good idea. What we'll do is we will do all of the uh, Bippity Boppa viewpoints so that we have a full map by whatever things that we can. And then next time, we will start with a Templar Lair. Especially because I've never done the Templar Lairs before. Each time that they come up, I'm like, what the fuck? I just want to climb, but game is being dick. Now you have to come to me. Hmm, how does he expect me to climb? Do I learn? Don't tell me that I learn the jump and grab and I can only... Don't tell me that I learn the jump and grab. Please! Or do I do the Templar Lair and then I end up on top? I don't know. I'm scared. I want to do the top thing. Top of the morning to you. Because surely that's not the only way to get up there. But again, it, it, maybe it's possible that the rapscallions of this city will teach me the ways of... Jumping up while climbing. Game is hurting me. But yeah, we'll definitely do the... Templar Lair next time. Because apparently that one, that, 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 that is unavailable to me for some reason. There is a tailor, but I want a painter. And for some reason, Leonardo can't sell me other people's paintings. Lord be damned, he is a painter. Very rude. Game decided he gets a magical force field. Codex. You want to fight? You got it. You want to die? <laughs> and the bodies decide to do a little break dance. Hell yeah. Break dance time. Now I just need to hope that I'm actually allowed to fucking climb this one. Let me climb. Let me climb. Let me climb the climb. And then I just dippity d, dippity d, save me, and reveal a painter so that I might buy paintings. That I might buy us some paintings. Maybe not maps, because maps kind of suck. But there is another codex. But no fucking painters. Oh, wait, no, there's a painter! Ha <laughs> ha! Codex will be marked, and then once I have codex in front of me, I, I will go back. The clown dies. You clown! You damn clown! 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 I want... I don't care about carnival performance. I care about the map. I've been thieved. We will try to do the final... thing if we can. After we buy from the paintings.
I have reason to believe that some of your paintings are fake. Because I definitely see the one of the big, like, f Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad is definitely in my place. We'll go viewpoint and then end. Or is the viewpoint out of reach? The viewpoint might actually be out of reach. Well, fine. I guess that's the end for this one. Uh-huh. Well, next time we will either do the mission or we'll do the Templar lair. Because, again, those are new to me. I have yet to experience the Templar lairs in their fool. So, it'll be interesting to experience them. Because, like, the assa like, Templar assassins coming for the Lorenzo de' Medici was amusing. Grab that just because. Completion. But, yeah. Next time, we will... Do the Templar Lair and continue on in Venice, because apparently all of the things that are there... Oh, you can do these viewpoints, but actually you can't. But we're gonna be on the map to taunt you, haha! <laughs> Life is pain. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can catch up on the streams I've done in the past at the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where I have Undertale, the Mass Effect trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, some tunic that I eventually need to finish someday. Eventually I will, I promise. But all of those can be found on the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. But if you're already one of the people there watching the archives, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then, if you want to actually catch these games live extra easily, you can either check my Twitch channel's schedule tab, or follow me on Twitter, in which I send out a tweet saying, Hey, I've gone live! And then I delete that tweet so people don't get confused. Because they might be like, Oh, he's live! Click, and then uh, the stream's already over, and that's a terrible feeling. But if you also want some art from me, like my beloved little avatar in the corner, you can... Also see that on my Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, or Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, 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 thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.